ride guys what a ride What's up you guys I'm back with another video this is going to be an exciting one because I'm standing right here at Provake Dynamics and I'm going to introduce you to the first Indian made in India electric vehicle it's going to be amazing so let's check it out Hey Dhawal Hey Abhishek Hey nice to meet you Yeah, so Dhawal is the co-founder and CTO of Pravek Dynamics, and he's going to tell us more about the car. So, Dhawal, can you quickly just let us know what you have built so far? This looks like a piece of magnificence. Okay, so she's called Pravek Extinction Mark One. She's uh, one of our prototypes, and uh, she's powered by a 96 kilowatt hour battery pack. Can do more than 500 kilometers of range in a single charge. Wow, it's fast charge enabled, zero to 100 in 5.4 seconds. And it continues to a top speed of 196 kilometers an hour. And this vehicle is essentially a test bed for all our uh, technologies. So we are uh, building uh, battery packs, battery management systems, along with the rest of the. Uh, we are engineering and designing the rest of the subsystems of the vehicles, like body and white, suspension, exteriors, interiors, frames, materials, etc., etc. So yes, this vehicle allows us to you know experiment a lot. So yeah this car is their prototype version it's not the final production version that that's going to be on the streets and the prototype itself looks amazing and obviously we're going to take a ride as well but before that we'll talk a little bit more about the aerodynamics because this looks like unlike any other car that we see on the road so Dhawal can you tell us more about the aerodynamics of this thing Sure so aerodynamics are super important for uh, any electric vehicle it affects the range you have it affects the energy consumption the vehicle has So this specific vehicle it has a drag coefficient of 0.26, and it's super slippery through the air. And the future versions would be even better. They'll have uh, lower drag coefficients, and uh, you can see like uh, a lot of uh, most of the aesthetics they come from. So the form comes essentially comes from the function, and the primary function of the exterior body works is you know the body work is doing some work. It's it's guiding the air to flow around it. Yeah. So you'll notice. So this vehicle has no traditional grills. Electric yeah. vehicles do not need, in fact, uh, uh, huge grills. But whatever grills there are, they have been uh, cleverly engineered to minimize the aerodynamic drag. And if you look at the overall shape of the vehicle as well, so uh, this vehicle has a completely flat underbody, which helps a lot in terms of reducing aerodynamic drag. But how does that pan out on Indian roads with regards to the ground clearance and obviously we have a lot of potholes and speed bumps. So like, how do you, how do you guys plan to like take care of that? Okay, so for this specifically, as you correctly observed, uh, the ground clearance is quite low, and uh, this vehicle, uh, as I mentioned earlier, is a test bed for all all our uh, technologies. And uh, being a more uh, sporty sporty vehicle, it allows us to put more stress on a, on all of our uh, battery systems. and uh, related sub systems and uh, as the battery packs are also mounted uh, under the floor of the vehicle and this vehicle being uh, very low to the ground so you know it it allows us a real world uh, test to you know like we do hit the battery pack right. uh, this vehicle does hit uh, the underbelly sometimes but it just proves that you know it's built to last if you have not seen the praveg event I think they demonstrated that this vehicle is built like a tank. So essentially, you have a huge battery pack underneath. So if you know if it catches fire or anything, so your vehicle needs to withstand that. And they have built it exactly for that. And I'm I'm assuming that the production version will actually have a little bit of uplift. And yes, production version would be having much higher ground clearance. So this is like a coupe. Like this is. A car, this is a prototype car it has two doors and but the production version is going to have four doors and they have a unique sort of a model where you will not be able to buy this car but you will be able to ride in it dhawal could you explain a little bit more about you know how i can actually how someone can actually have this car and take a ride in it and like how does that work okay all you have to do is today uh, just go to defy.city.com yeah and uh, subscribe yeah so of course there is a waiting list right now and the services would start uh, november 
So I am in the waiting list as well and I'll share the link in the description below. You can go ahead and sign up on that link to get a test ride of this car. You can't drive it, basically it will be a chauffeur driven car but you can sit inside it and take a ride in the city. And I guess I'm fortunate enough that today Dhawal is going to take us on a ride. This is the pre-production version so I guess I've jumped over the waiting list but anyway signed up for the waiting list as well to just check out the production version. Yeah. Dhawal do you want to like take a ride and we'll just go around and check it out. Let's go. So yeah, I just thought I'll vlog a little bit inside this car. This thing is designed like an airplane. So there's the sunroof and look at this, right? It, it, it's basically like a cockpit, right? It's like I'm sitting in an airplane cockpit and I think these guys have a lot of fancy stuff built over here. So a lot of work goes into building this car, right? We are sitting in the end product. Even though this is a prototype, they've spent nine years to build this prototype, right? So that's huge. I mean, that takes a huge amount of uh, determination to stick to it for nine years and you know finally it's like because I would say for the first five six years you probably wouldn't have anything that you can actually sit inside and drive in right? No, we did in fact so like we have a so in, in the beginning we also built some vehicles which are you know uh, uh, all terrain vehicles you can say so when we started uh, back in 2011 in Rajasthan uh, mm -hmm. we started uh, we built a lot of uh, off-road vehicles as well now the, the the major benefit of building off-road vehicles was that you know off-road vehicles they go through a lot of abuse hmm, so right. they are going in low road conditions hmm. and also building off-road vehicles it allowed us you know virtually infinite testing grounds in and under in and uh, around uh, Rajasthan right. so those prototypes help, helped us a lot uh, fine-tuning our uh, chassis system suspension system and of course you know along the way there were failures things failed and you, you really do not progress without yeah. failure. But at this point, you know, we have had a lot of failure. So, you know, we, and you know, failure is what teaches you. Right. So, we know, you know, what not to do. Exactly. So, yes, failure so. is a part of it, right? Failure yeah. is a part of the process. You need to embrace it and come back stronger. So, let's check out the acceleration on this thing, Double. What do you say? Sure, why not? We go. Oh my gosh. It's like sitting in the jet engine, really. <laughs> wow. That was crazy. It was literally like sitting in, 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 a, in a jet engine. Literally, I was like, you know, when, when you're sitting in a plane and it's about to take off, it was that feeling in this car. Literally, never had that before. So, that was crazy, man. Wow.